Jackson, the change of leader follows the sudden resignation of Todd Muller. That's right, Peter. Todd Muller announced his shock resignation yesterday morning, citing health reasons after being in the role as leader of the opposition for just 53 days. Last night, national MPs gathered here at Parliament in Wellington for an emergency caucus meeting. It took them two hours to pick a new leader. Judith at Collins, regarded as quite a formidable force in politics, emerging victorious. She uh, isn't necessarily the most popular figure uh, within the party room, but national MPs obviously believe that she uh, is best placed, that she has the best chance of saving the most furniture at the upcoming election on the 19th of September. Uh, Judith Collins has long uh, harboured leadership ambitions. She has finally been given her chance. She certainly has the name recognition as well as the experience that her predecessor, Todd Muller, did not have. Asked how she will go about uniting uh, quite a divided caucus. Judith Collins says all national MPs are united by a common goal, and that is getting rid of the current government. The veteran MP certainly uh, appeals to the core national base, uh, a fact she is uh, acutely aware of. I think it is important that we um, send some very strong messages out to our base um, voters, who um, have been obviously a bit discombobulated with the last day or so and they need to know that we're absolutely back on track and we will be um, taking the fight to the government. Peter, the former police minister once pledged to crush the cars of Hoons, earning her the nickname Crusher Collins. And Judith Collins says she hopes that the National Party can crush the other lot when it comes to the election on the 19th of September. But certainly a more realistic goal for Judith Collins is simply uh, to stop uh, the ship from sinking mm. because it's Labor and it's Jacinda Ardern that is really uh, in the box seat just yeah. nine and a half weeks to go until polling day.